All right, welcome back to the Power Baseball League series. I'm excited that you're here because tonight we're going to go ahead and set up our model-driven app. And so um, just to bring you up to speed with where we're at, I, I, so hopefully you've been following along. But in case you haven't, um, Kylie Kaiser and I have been working through how to um, implement one of our ideas. One of our ideas was to run a Power, Power Baseball League or a Youth Baseball League through Microsoft's business applications. So over the last few sessions we've had together and recordings, we've kind of been fleshing out what that's going to look like. We've talked a lot about requirements and setting goals for this project and talking about where we're going to be. And in our one of our last um, sessions or videos, we actually invited Nick Dolman, one of the Microsoft Business Applications MVPs, over to our, uh, over to our home, not over to our home, we don't have a home together, over to our uh, recording and had him join us for the discussion to, to focus in and around what what tool we should use to kind of be the backbone of this this whole initiative and so uh if you follow nick if you don't you should because he's got great content uh his his uh blog we've posted it on one of our recent things it's readyxrm.blog and so in one of his more recent articles he spoke about um, not necessarily needing a full-blown CRM application and instead maybe just needing a power app based in CDS, which has, as you probably know, has a lot of those functional elements that you, you would use and then you can build upon that as you need for whatever your requirements are. And so we invited Nick to join us to talk through that because it was an, an appealing aspect because even though we had really been trying hard not to focus on being, um, you know, fleshing this project through as if it's going to be a CRM system, in many ways it aligned really nicely with that. And, and Kylie and I both have background in the CRM application. And so it we kind of naturally gravitated there. But we really wanted to make sure that we were exploring our options. So Nick joining us was really beneficial because he talked and shared amazing insights around why we probably don't need a full-blown CRM. And instead we can start with a Power App. So after that session with him and if you haven't watched it please go back and and uh, have a look at some again some great insights from nick and thanks to him for joining us but upon reflection on that conversation kylie and i very quickly agreed that we don't need a full-on crm app let's build this basically from scratch in a power app and and we'll build it out from there of course we're going to have some custom entities and we're going to have some aspects that we need but uh, that, that we'll need to build in and pull in from other areas and we'll use other applications as we go but we really quickly, as I said, agreed that we don't need that that sales app or a customer service app or, or field service or anything like that. We really could start from scratch. So in the most recent video, Kylie went ahead and set up the environment. So she, we've got our power uh, environment all set up, maker.powerapps.com. Um, and so we're going to go ahead today, and you and I are going to walk through the process of setting up that mo uh, mobile, not mobile, the model-driven app that we're going to use. And we're going to actually base the process that we follow on Nick's article. So at the tail end of his article where he talks all about that not needing a CRM instead of Power App, what he did is he laid out really beautifully all of the steps that you need to follow to create that app and so we're going to follow his instructions i'm going to share my screen with you you're going to walk through it i'm going to show you what what we're sort of walking through here in just a second so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen that's going to cut off video which is fine you don't need to watch me and so first of all i want to just bring over here for you. So, whoops, I scrolled down a little bit. So, as you can see, there's some screenshots here. This is Build Your Own Dynamic CRM 2020 in 10 minutes. So, that's just the name he's given his, his app. But what he's done is he laid out the instructions with really great screenshots, really simplistic instructions on how to follow this. So, we're going to follow this tutorial through start to finish, and we're going to set up the same thing that he's got in preparation for what Kylie and I are going to do to, to build out our Power Baseball leak. So I'm going to move this over here and I jump into our power apps. So Kylie went ahead and set up our environment. So here's the default environment that, that she had. She's gone ahead and created a power baseball league environment. So we're going to operate in there. I've already switched myself into that. And we're now on the home um, page of that. And we're going to go ahead and click solutions and say new solution. And so this is going to open up the solution wizard on the, on the side or widget, if you will, on the side. I'm going to go ahead and call this power baseball league. And we're going to go ahead and just pick the default publisher. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click create. So it's going to do its thing. It's going to spin for a second, uh, literally just a second. And here we go. We've already got it set up. So that's nice and quick. So we've already got our solution created. And so um, now that we've got that set up, I'm just scrolling through next instructions. Go ahead and open that up. We're going to say we're going to create a new. You see you got lots of options here, but we're going to create an app and it's going to be a model driven app. And so model driven app is really like that um, a desktop app, if you will. It's probably not the best way to explain it, but but in, in a sense, the desktop app. Canvas app would be more so sort of mobile responsive on a farm. Of course, the, the model driven app is responsive as well, but that's kind of the way I've heard people describe that before. That model driven app is kind of that desktop app. So I'm going to go ahead and create the app. So you notice it's launched us into our app designer. And so it's opened us up in a new tab. I'm going to go ahead and call this app Power Baseball League. I'll, we'll put the description as the model driven app for Power Baseball League. Okay, I'm going to leave that as is. I'm going to go ahead and set that. I'm, I'm going to use the default image. We'll, we'll hopefully have one created for this little initiative um, that we have. If you had your own logo or whatever, you could implement that now. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the default for now. And go ahead and say done. That now is going to launch us into the next part of our app designer where we can actually start to build out the application. So again, we're going to keep this super high level and super simplistic first. We're really just walking through the basics of how to set up that model driven app just to give you a, some insight and share with you just how quickly and easily we can set up a real simplistic basic one. Right? We will be revisiting this because we're going to need to build out other components. Right? We're going to have to have some custom entities. We're going to probably build out some dashboards and so on, all of which we'll, we'll come back and do that later. But for now, for the purposes of this, we're going to go ahead and pick the entities we want. So on the right hand side, I'm going to click entities. I'm going to go ahead and pick what we want. So we're going to say account. We're going to say activity. And I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to say contact. And so you'll see all of the other entities we have, right? These are all of the aspects of the CDS that we have access to here. I'm, I'm not going to touch any of those right now. We're just going to leave it simplistic like that. I'm going to go ahead and save. And now we're going to we're going to customize that sitemap. And so I'm going to do that by clicking the edit button here. And now we've got a couple different things. We've got area, group and sub area. So our area is up here. Our group is in here and our sub area is down here. So we're going to leave this group. You'll, you'll see it starts us with one area, one group and so on. I'm going to go ahead and rename this group. And I'm going to call it constituents that's kind of the people. Now in Nick's article, he called that stakeholders. We're going to call it constituents because it's more relevant to what we're talking about here. This is going to be our contacts. And that's really our primary focus is building out a solution. You know, day one rollout is build out a solution where we can consolidate our years of data that's currently stored in a multitude of spreadsheets. We want all of that in here. So it's really around that contact data or that human or those that people data. We want to build that out just into the constituents area. So I'm going to name this constituents and you'll notice it's also giving me the first sub area. I'm going to go ahead and pick on the right. I'm going to say that this entity should be, I'll start with account because it's first up. So we've got that. I now want to inside of constituents, I want to add another sub area and I want to link that and we'll go down here to contact. So we now have an area for constituents. It's got our contacts and our, our, sorry, our accounts and our contacts. And so th this is all we need for this part, but we do want another group built into this. So again, we've got our area, our group, and our sub area. I want to build in another piece here where we're going to embed the activities, which is where we're going to kind of house our communications. In fact, we're going to actually take Nick's example. We're going to create a group. We're going to go ahead and call that. Whoops. We're going to go ahead and call that communications communications so inside of here we're going to go ahead and we're going to create another sub area right so for here and we're going to link this to that activity piece 
And so now we are pretty much ready to go. This, this is all we need to do for now. This is just the basic bare bones structure of our model driven app. We're going to have multiple videos coming up over the next little bit over this series where we're going to start to build this out and flush it in. We still need to work on things like what are all the fields, right? We've done a high level brainstorm, but we really need to dig in to what specific fields do we need. Uh, we're also going to look at um, building out a, uh, um, I'm sorry, an AI builder tool that can help us take those paper applications that we've been talking about, and we can hopefully build an app that's going to scan those and bring them directly in here, right? It's going to map all that data in, and that's kind of coming up in, in one of, we actually have another special guest I'm super excited about that's going to be joining us to help us focus in on that AI builder piece to look in and explore our paper application form and how we can take that app take a picture of those forms and have them uh, basically train that model to understand what data goes where and put it into the right parts of our system. So super exciting stuff coming up. So for the time being, we're going to leave this just as is. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And we are all but done. So let me just refer back to Nick's instructions. I'm just going to scroll through his instructions. We've gone ahead and we're going to come over here. We're going to say done in the maker area. And there we are. We now have a model driven app and our site map that we've pieced together. We've selected the right entities we want engaged in here. We've also put together that site map. So we've got the very basics, again, very basics of the, the starting point of our app. So super excited. Our journey is well underway. We are we are well on our way to building out the Power Baseball League in the Microsoft business applications. I could not be more excited because as we go through this process, we're going to try and leverage as many of these business applications as we possibly can. But it all really hinges on having a foundation. And this that we just created, Kylie created the environment. We've created the model driven app. That's really the foundation of our project. And we're now going to build out and layer on top of that all the elements that we need to manage our Power Baseball League. So I hope that you're enjoying the ride so far. This has been a pretty cool experience. I'll, let's be, I'm gonna be perfectly transparent and honest. This took a couple of takes because we ran into some issues. This is all about learning, right? One of my taglines on the nerdy admin, that's my blog, uh, is, is that we're all in this together, right? We're all learning, why not learn together? And so that, that's a big part of why Kylie are, and I are doing this and we ran into some hurdles. And so we're, we ourselves are absolutely learning as we go because there's been some interesting pieces. I'm even learning Teams because I'm operating in the web app and I use Teams literally every day, day in, day out at work. And I've, but I rarely live in the mobile app or the, the web app. And so I'm learning even about that, which is great. So that's really the, the premise of this whole initiative. I hope you're having fun with us. Please come back, join us for more. And if you have ideas about what we should do, what we should tackle, tackle things we should think about or even talk about, or if you'd like to join us as a guest to help share some insights, please reach out to Kylie and I. Let us know your interest or what your thoughts are. We would love, love all and any and any and all feedback that you can share with us. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining me. Now you know how to build a mobile app. I hope you join us for the next one. Take care.